So when we're talking about measuring angles, there's three main steps you need to follow. The first one is you're going to line up this little point in the middle of your protractor with the vertex of your angle. And here I've made the vertex of your angle a little red dot. It won't be when you go to measure. But we're going to make sure we put it all the way over right until we think it's lined up. Harder on a computer. And then we're going to make sure the bottom arm of the angle goes through the zero and is lined up perfectly. And this is where sometimes when we're doing this digitally, we need to zoom in. So you're going to go to view, zoom, and 200% will work just fine. So if we're doing that, what we want to do is count up from the zero till we get to the arm of the, the other arm of the angle. So we start at the zero where one arm touches. My arm is over here, so I start on this zero and I count up. If the arm was over here, I would start at this zero and count up. But because my arm is over here, we're starting over here. A lot of students, this is the most common mistakes that, mistake that everyone makes, and that is that they start at the wrong zero. So they start over here, count way up, and they go, ah, it's 122. Well, no, it's not, because you started at the wrong zero. My angle's not over there. My angle's on this side. So I count up from the zero that my angle is touching. So from zero all the way up, to 58. So this one is 58 degrees. And then we just have to make a note of it. If you're not sure how to write down angles and you want to learn how to write down angles, you're going to insert a text box, just like I just did. Text box is here if you're not sure. And then you're going to go to insert and special characters. And you're going to search for the word degree. You could actually also draw it, and that works just fine. But there are two that look similar. We want the degree sign. This one is a musical notation. We just want this one. If you click on it, it will be there. You have to trust that it's there, because I've done it where I clicked a few times. You don't need to do that. Just click it once, close it, and there it is. So we, I've got my degree sign, and now I've measured my angle. 